That one. Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. Like Ruth always said, life's too short to eat anywhere else. Make a reservation online at rootschris.com or by calling 800-544-0808. Welcome back to the What's Cooking program, America's food, wine, restaurant, travel, and entertainment show. Emphasis on the wine right now. And I wish we had some food because uh, we are about to uh, sample, get some notes here on the latest release of Opus One. Roger Asselson is with us here, the Director of Public Relations. Michael Salashi, the winemaker for Opus One. And it's quite an honor to have you guys in the studio. Again, thanks for actually coming in because we do a lot of stuff on the phone but you guys are in uh, and we broadcast out of holly weird california ladies and gentlemen you guys are here uh kind of doing a sweep of the southern california area do you do that across the country and hit different areas and uh, find out what the taste profiles are and how you fit in kind of to uh, what people are looking for yeah we have four regional sales managers one new york chicago uh, texas and uh, california and i spend uh, a week with each one of them uh every other year and to do the types of things that Roger and I are doing. Roger and I have, uh, our trips have a little different flavor than those, but um, this week or th this week, we're in Southern California to uh, expose some people to the, the 2007, which we'll be tasting in a few minutes. It will be released on October 1st. October 1st is the 2007 release date. Now, uh, once again, Opus sort of the leadership is that you're a little behind the curve as far as the release. That tells me you're aging it a little bit longer. A lot of people have had their 2007s out. Now, this especially a treat. I get goosebumps talking about it because I've tasted from the barrel a few years back some 2007s, and this, everybody said, was an incredibly great year. Is that true, Michael? It's, it is true. It's, uh, it was uh, a, an exceptional year. Um, and everyone across the board is making great wines that year. All right, so let's put it down to the profile right now. We've got the uh, 2007. Give us the taste profile, and, and uh, specifically, who are you targeting right now? The, our listenership out there right now, are you targeting this to any family member? I mean, people should experience Opus. They shouldn't be scared of it, and I, I hate to say this, but I think there's sometimes such feeling that it's royalty and such a fine wine that it's kind of put on the shelf and kept, and I believe you should do that for a special occasion, but it's also okay to enjoy Opus, and it's not totally out of the picture. It's affordable to have incredibly great wine. What are the, what's the blend of it, first off? Uh, the blend this year is uh, mostly Cabernet Sauvignon, about 79%, and about 6% uh, Petit Verdot, which is the highest uh, uh, amount of Petit Verdot we've had in the so blend. How much now? 6%. 6%. And, the and that adds sometimes a little, the, the acidic uh, feel to it's it somewhat? A little uh, bit? Intensity of color. I see you color, have a, yes. you have a um, Gina tree beyond the purple hills. It brings in a little purple color. Very purple, you're right. Purple color. Um, really nice uh, pencil lead and violet aromas and really beautiful structure. So you got Cabernet, you got uh, Petit Verdot. Cabernet Franc, Merlot, and Malbec. Just a touch of Malbec. So it's the true Bordeaux blend. Yes, exactly. You know, no, I, I got to mention that because I, I think it should uh, be said that, you know, with holidays approaching, al although we like to encourage people to drink as much wine as possible, uh, you know, people talk about giving uh, often champagne as a, as a nice gift item. I think a bottle of Opus One is oh. probably about as uh, top of the line as one can get when it comes to, again, giving somebody something that they'll really appreciate. You guys are shaking your heads. I'm telling you, that's a great gift. If you give somebody a bottle of Opus One, they're going to cradle it just like those grapes when you pick it up. I pick it up and sort of just set that bottle down a little bit. Now, so, so how many uh, – this is it. This is your release. Opus One is the house that is just – we know it's a Bordeaux blend. We're not going to get the Opus Pinot. We're not going to get the, uh, the Opus uh, whatever. It is just this Bordeaux blend year in, year out. If we say the word Opus One, we know it's like a true house of Europe – this is what you do. A great Bordeaux blend, Cabernet is the dominant. Yes, and we're th there's. It's really a luxury to be able to focus on just one wine. It, it's a an do incredible. Do you play with that a lot when you're making the wine? I mean, when you're in the lab sitting there, I mean, we get to enjoy it out of the bottle. But I mean, when we're talking about the wine making, you say more Petit Verdot than ever before in here. I mean, that's another bold step that you take, and you do that because you're trying to capture the essence of what came out of the field, what was in the sky, what was the uh, the atmosphere that year, what were the uh, climatic conditions, and now that the roots are going down lower, it's probably going to change year to year. Exactly. And it's going to evolve. It's not. I, think, I see it more as an evolution than a change. There's nothing abrupt. It's just a very uh, steady flow towards 
perfection. Okay, give us the taste notes on this 2007 release. Coming up October 1st, ladies and gentlemen, less than a month away. When you first smell the wine, it has a smell of um, stems and petals of red roses. And as you swirl it and it takes in more air, you notice a lot more f uh, intense fruit coming through. So black roses first. I like that. Floral. That's good. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Floral. Okay. And then um, uh, intense fruit, a little bit of a spicy fruit, wild strawberries, um, cassis, black, black cherry. And then you get into s more of the barrel notes coming through, espresso and a little bit of chocolate, vanilla. Uh, and then when you t uh, taste the wine, it's very uh, smooth. 2007 is is amazingly smooth. So when I say it's drinkable and approachable now, the tannins are there, the acids, everything is in balance right now. So you could pop the bottle and just enjoy it if you bought one now. Exactly, and the fruit really comes through in the palate. Sometimes what the way you just in the 2007. Sometimes when you describe the aromas of a wine, doesn't necessarily come through as the flavors. In this one, it's pretty consistent, and. For a wine, this wine was aged in, like all of the vintages of Opus One, in 100% new French oak for about 18 months. So, and that's not dominating the wine. So it it has this ability Once to- Once again, the balance, right? The balance and- Are and you tasting along that period to say, let's leave it in a little longer, let's take it, whatever, you're just keeping it aged there for so many months? Yes, and the way we decide at the end is to taste with each of the 14 Coopers uh, that provide barrels to us. And we strengthen our relationship with wow. them, and we're tasting over a series of a uh, couple months, and then we decide when the sweet spot is and take it out of barrel and get it ready to bottle. Hey, hey Roger, for people that want to get the ball rolling and find out what Opus One is all about, is there like a website that they can check out? Well, uh, it's funny you mentioned that, Paul. We uh, we have a website that uh, a brand new website that's going to launch. Uh, uh, we hope by by about the first of October as that's well. Great. Uh, it will have. Uh, uh, a lot of uh, uh, compelling content. Uh, we have a direct marketing manager uh, who has been working Hang feverishly. Hang on, we'll give you that website in just a moment. Stay with us on CRN. Hounded by debt collectors with phone calls and letters? Thinking of calling a debt relief company? Don't. Greedy lawyers and debt companies charge thousands. 